Tonight's storms have brought heavy winds and rain to the entire Chicago area. Almost 2,000 people are without power. And we want to show you some live pictures from southwest suburban Bolingbrook right now. And here is a look from the south suburbs. Those power outages caused by trees coming down. The rain has been pouring down on some areas for hours. A welcome change from days without any precipitation at all, but perhaps a recipe for flooding. We've been tracking the storms and their impact. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls. Emily. Hey, that's right. We've been tracking some severe thunderstorms across portions of the area and briefly we did have a tornado in northwestern LaSalle County, but currently everything's starting to calm down. We have no active watches or warnings here in our area. I want to zoom things in on that tornado touchdown again. This is from previously today. This report came in right around 630 over in Troy Grove. This is on the northwest side of LaSalle. It was moving northwesterly and the spotter said that it only touched down for about 30 to 45 seconds. So fortunately, we're really not getting any reports of damage out of that location. Live power Doppler. We're still seeing some showers and storms moving off toward the east throughout northwestern Indiana in Valparaiso. You can expect these to arrive around 920 over the next 12 hours. Showers and storms are going to come to an end. Temperatures are going to drop into the lower 60s and tomorrow looks so much calmer. We're going to be partly sunny in the morning, becoming partly cloudy with high temperatures closer to seasonable, but still above average. We'll make it to the low 70s tomorrow afternoon. Emily, thank you. Elizabeth Matthews joins us now from Lakeview with uh, news on the storm damage there. That's right, Corey. We've been driving around the city uh, throughout today, and we know that they have, there have been rounds of these storms coming through. But take a look at this. This is the worst damage that we've seen. We first spotted it on social media. Take a look at this. It's a white pickup truck. You see city crews just showed up to try to rem start removing this tree from the streets, completely blocking Berto. Uh, uh, we're near Polina and Berto. This is Polina that we're on. It's a southbound street, and this is this tree completely came down, crushed the cab. Thankfully, no injuries were reported in this. This car was just sitting here, and actually neighbors say they don't even know who this truck belongs to, but thankfully, someone really would have been injured if this tree would have fallen on this truck and somebody would have been inside. I want to introduce uh, a neighbor who lives just a, a few doors down. Carlos, you're not the owner of this truck, but just tell me about what happened this afternoon when the storm pushed through. Um, well, it came through very fast. It was got very dark, and then all of a sudden the storm just came through and was just whipping around. It was it was pretty crazy. You said it went from like a black sky to a white sky. Black sky to a white sky, and it was it was the wind was blowing very very hard. So you know, like everybody else, you know, you just go in the basement, you know, came back out and. That's what you see. And there's a lot of tree damage throughout this neighborhood. There's another tree just across the yeah. street that we can't show because it's too it's dark shown, over yeah. there. But there's a lot of tree. Did you hear these trees cracking? Actually, I didn't. I didn't hear them. I was in safety, you know. You were a little concerned, weren't I was, you? I was a little concerned. Legs so when you moving. came outside and saw this big tree, what'd you think? Um, I'm glad that's not my car. <laughs> um, I feel like that's a uh, pretty, pretty pretty damaged car and I'm glad that no one was in it or anything like that. You know? And I bet there's been a lot of looky loos coming through tonight, right? Everybody's <laughs> coming through. The, all the neighbors are concerned, of course, you know, and this is great that these guys are here getting rid of it. So right. Well, thankfully, and these guys, these city crews, these city workers, thank you, Carlos. Appreciate okay. your time. They just showed up uh, basically when we showed up just about 10 minutes ago or so to to take a look at this scene here. Again, we're at Polina and Berto. Thankfully, no injuries reported in this. This is the worst tree damage, the worst damage that we've seen from tonight's storms. We will send it back to you. We are in the Lakeview neighborhood. Corey and Don, back to you in the studio. All right, Elizabeth.